Okay, now in this section we'll be discussing on a topic called SPAN. SPAN stands for Switchboard Analyzer. So most of the Cisco Catalyst switches supports a method of directing all your traffic from one specific port to another specific port. Like take an example, I got some of the host connected here, which is mostly referred as a host. Not only a single host, it can be multiple host as well. And the source can be a VLAN, whether you can, you can actually specifically take the source as a VLAN or a specific port number. And I can redirect all the traffic going on this specific port into on a other port. Let's say I got another port, port number 20. Maybe the traffic going to internet or maybe traffic going communicating in between the host. I want to redirect all the traffic. It's not actually redirecting, it's directing all the traffic, which means the actual traffic will flow on these ports as well as it will be directed on another port where you have some server and what this server is exactly doing is this server is uh, majorly used for monitoring maybe you in your network you got some a device called IDS IPS device in security we have something called intrusion detection system or uh, in intrusion prevention system some special devices which are actually used in monitoring the traffic where they are responsible for identifying some of the vulnerabilities and based on that identification it is going to report your firewall to do uh, to take some kind of action if they suspect any kind of uh, malicious traffic moving in your network uh, maybe that might be the reason or maybe uh, the reason maybe you have some vivo ip traffic going in your network uh, probably if you if you see some call centers what they do is they have some vivo ip traffic and probably what they want to do is they want to record those the voice traffic going in their network probably within their network or maybe call recording maybe due to some reasons and any reason it can be and you have some call recording software or recording server configured on this particular port and probably I don't want to install that call recording in each and every device I want all the traffic should be directed also on this port on the other port of the switch so that I can do the complete recording on this so these are the actual different scenarios or different reasons where you may need to redirect your traffic and to make all these things possible we can enable a feature called span on the switches to make these things possible like what it is going to do it's going to direct all your traffic on the specific host which will be referred as my server source and the source can be one single port number or it can be a complete vlan and i can ask that all this traffic has to be forwarded to a different port like where you have a server or where you have some IDS IPS device for either recording or some uh, intrusion detection systems or maybe you want to collect some database collection purpose or maybe some a specific application to run like voice recording those kind of things so in this kind of scenarios we can use span okay so this uh, particular span can also be referred as you know normally what we do is we, it's also called as port mirroring so whenever you you see something called port mirroring kind of uh, concept you need to understand it's nothing but span and also called as session monitoring in cisco terminology we call it as session monitoring session monitoring uh, we call this as session monitoring because of the commands what we use to configure the commands will be like something like this monitor session and then some session number we'll see the configuration anyway but based on the Cisco configurations we use, we either call them as uh, port mirroring or session monitoring, everything is same. As you can see the diagram itself says, whatever the traffic flows through your switch from this user to this user, it's actually going to internet. But I want the same copy of the information to go to my server where a copy of the traffic flow is sent for a capturing device. And this capturing device can be your IDS IPS, as I said, for security reasons or it can also have some Wireshark application running where you want to do the complete packet capturing or maybe you are running some Vivo IP network where this particular software is uh, is actually doing some call recording kind of kind of application is running and you want to record all the calls going over the internet or going with on this specific ports uh, we can do that the reason can be anything but at the end we are actually directing our traffic and for this kind of uh, reasons we can say so let's see how to configure that 
Now the configuration is going to be a little bit simple, just a few line configurations. I got two different lab scenarios. Lab one is going to be very simple, a very basic scenario. And then lab two is a little bit complicated scenario, I got it. Just uh, if you have some more number of uh, configurations. Let's see, let's start with the lab one first. Okay, so in the lab one, uh, let's say I have a requirement that uh, this is a question you can see mirror all the traffic which is sent and received now there are two kinds of uh, mirroring you can do you can either only mirror the receiving traffic whenever you want to you want to send only receiving traffic which is incoming traffic we can say rx or we can say tx tx nothing but transmitting traffic or there is an option called both both means both sending and receiving traffic and if i do not specify anything the default will be both which means here you can see i'm saying source interface nothing i mentioned here if i do not mention anything in that case by default it is going to mirror the complete traffic which is received and as well as which is sent so as my scenario according to my example here i i, I want to mirror traffic from two kind of things now here there are two things like from where you want to get the traffic that will be always referred as a source so mostly the host where your actual traffic is flowing on that will be referred as a source and where you want to send all the traffic that where you have that particular software or packet capturing tool where you have all the traffic where you want to direct all the traffic that will be referred as my destination so we need to understand two terminologies here source and destination so destination will be always any specific port number always it will be whereas the source can be a specific port number or it can also be a specific vlan let's say uh, you want to mirror uh, in most commonly i use the mirroring option if i want to mirror the complete vlan 10 traffic now inside the vlan 10 i got 20 computers so going to each and every port and defining the 20 port numbers is something i really don't want we can specifically say VLAN 10, which means all the ports in that VLAN 10, uh, all the traffic will be directed to this destination port number. So the source can be a specific port number or it can be a specific VLAN also. So let's go ahead and try to verify what will be the configuration here. So I'm going to take one simple scenario where I got my source. I got my source will be F0 by 12. It's my source from where I'm get, supposed to get the traffic and my destination will be F0 by 24. So all the traffic sent and received, which means both traffic sent and received from F0 by 12 should be sent on F0 by 24. So the command line, if you check, the command line starts with a monitor session. So probably you can try, you can just simulate this uh, basic configurations in your router as well. So on my router, just for testing purpose what you can do is you can you can take up your gns program if you want to simulate you can take this router and you can configure this router with uh, because you know normally if you want to simulate this uh, basic command you can add this slot here you can see there is one slot called nm16 esw it's actually one kind of switch port which can be used for testing so i did the same thing on the router one already if you just go and check I have already added one on the slot 2, I added this port just for basic testing. You know, I cannot exactly verify the direction of the traffic, but I can do some basic testing of the command line in my GNS program. So I'll be using that. I'll go to router 1. In fact, it's not a router 1. Assume that it is a switch. And my requirement is I want to redirect. I want to direct all the traffic or I can say mirroring all the traffic on port number 12 in my case i'm going to say monitor session and session numbers it depends upon the different kind of ios versions you can create multiple monitor multiple sessions multiple port mirrorings on the same device but as of now this platform which i'm using it just supports only two but if you are running a real switches probably you may have more than two options now here you can see there are three options we have one is source one is destination I'll come to the filtering option in my next uh, next example so probably the first thing I want to say is source and the source can be either interface a specific port number 
or it can be a specific VLAN. So in my scenario, it's my port number and which port number exactly. Now in my scenario, a port number will be, I think, let me check what are the port numbers I have on my router. On my router, I have fast ethernet F2 by these ports. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume my source will be, just I need to take some rough example. The source I'm going to assume as, as my F2 by 5, okay. And the destination I'm going to assume as F2 by 10. That's my destination. Because I don't have the exact 12 and 24 port numbers. So I'm going to assume this as F2 by 5 as my source and F2 by 10 as my destination. So I'm going to say my session source interface F2 by 5 is my source. And then I can simply say destination and the destination interface will be F2 by 10 or fast Ethernet 2 by 10. Okay. Now if you show to verify this configuration, there is a command called show monitor session. Monitor session 1. You can see what is the source port. Source is actually uh, here we have a monitor session 1 which is created where the source is uh, receiving and receiving traffic f2 by 5 and the destination destination is my f2 by 10 interface right now we are not filtering anything okay done or you can also use this command show run include monitor to just verify what are the configurations i have on my router i can see these are the configurations which i did so just for verification uh, testing the basic commands you can try these options okay but not compulsory this is a one simple lab which is going to demonstrate you on the span.